a prayer against procrastination and laziness. Proverbs chapter 13, verse 4 The soul of a lazy man desires and has nothing, but the soul of the diligent shall be made rich. The Bible is clear on God's disapproval of laziness. Several scriptures, especially the book of Proverbs, prove this. God, our Creator and Maker, created us to be diligent. Hence, He gave Adam, the first man, the responsibility of naming all the animals in the Garden of Eden and to take care of the garden. God, who is supreme, also worked hard in creating the heaven and earth for six days, but only rested on the seventh day. If God is diligent, then you have no excuse for being lazy. Jesus Christ also admonished his disciples to keep watching instead of being idle. Matthew chapter 26, verse 40. Then he came to the disciples and found them sleeping and said to Peter, What? Could you not watch with me one hour? He expects his followers to be supportive through prayer, evangelism, and mission field in order to propagate God's kingdom. God knows that laziness could lead to the destruction, and that was why he challenged his disciples. We also know that a lazy person cannot be successful in life. To get what we need or want requires work. Let us pray. My Father and my Maker, I worship you for the grace to be called your child. I am forever and eternally grateful that you saved my soul. I thank you for your protection, provision, wisdom, sound health, and my family's wellness. I give you the glory for the grace to pray at this time without procrastinating. May your name be glorified. Lord, I pray that every spirit of laziness in my life should lose its power over me in Jesus' name. The Bible says in Proverbs chapter 12, verse 24, that diligent hands will rule, but laziness ends in forced labor. Lord, I pray that you will grant me the grace and wisdom to be diligent. I refuse to be a slave to others. My hands are blessed, and whatsoever I do with it shall yield bountiful harvest. I will no longer procrastinate. I do the right thing at the right time. I refuse to carelessly lose my blessings due to laziness and procrastination. Your word says, you reap what you sow, Lord. Let me sow diligent and hard work so that I can reap successful and fulfilling rewards. Lord, according to your word in Romans chapter 12, verse 11, not lagging in diligence, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord. I pray that I won't be slothful in my spiritual life, nor my career or business. Lord, you shall strengthen me so that I will be fervent for you. I receive the grace to serve you for the rest of my life. I desist from every lazy attitude that will make me slothful in the Father's business. Help give me the motivation and courage to get up and do what you require of me every day. Lord, please guide my feet on the path that they should walk. Help me not be stagnant due to laziness. Help me combat laziness to read your word every day, Lord, so that I may grow in you. Without knowing more of word, I cannot continue to move forward in my Christian journey. Every area of my life will be used to serve you henceforth. I am intentional about serving you without procrastinating in the mighty name of Jesus. Proverbs chapter 22 verse 29 Seest thou a man diligent in his business, he shall stand before kings, he shall not stand before mean men. 
This scripture is your promise to those that are diligent. I pray that I will be diligent in everything I lay my hands on, so that I may stand in your presence one day, the King of Kings. I ask for the wisdom to utilize the gifts you have given me in order to stand out. I shall not be discouraged by my background or the circumstances around me. I will quickly make use of all resources around me without procrastinating, just as the children of Judah, Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah succeeded in a strange land through hard working and discipline, as recorded in Daniel chapter 1, verse 20. And in all matters of wisdom and understanding that the king inquired of them, he found them ten times better than all the magicians and astrologers that were in all his realm. I pray that wherever I found myself, I will be disciplined and hardworking. I won't be distracted by the things that are happening in my environment. I will be of good conduct and I will fully concentrate on my duties. O oh Lord, wherever my foot shall step, I will be the best. I refuse to be a slave. I will not work in vain. I shall be great in Jesus' name. The scripture admonishes us to study and meditate on the word of God so that we can be successful. Joshua chapter 1 verse 8 This book of the Lord shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. I pray, O Lord, that you will help me to study your word daily with ease so that I will get to know you better and obey your instructions in order to make my way prosperous and have good success in Jesus' name. Give me the grace to find it easy to study your word. The devil and his cohorts will no longer intimidate me as I am diligent in studying God's word in Jesus' name. Amen. My Father and my Lord, most times I am willing, but I feel weak in my spirit and body. Lord, I need strength to be committed and diligent as it is written in your word in the book of Isaiah, chapter 40, verse 29. He giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might, he increaseth strength. O oh my God, I key into this prayer. I ask that you grant me the strength to do exploits. Increase my strength daily so that I will not grow weary in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, your word stated in Proverbs chapter 21, verse 25, the desire of the lazy man kills him, for his hands refuse to labor. My Father, I pray that I will not be lazy so that I can live. I commit my hand to your hands. They will be useful and industrious. They shall not refuse labor in Jesus' name. Amen. My hands are blessed. Whatsoever I lay my hands upon shall yield bountiful harvest in Jesus' name. The scripture says that there is time for everything. Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 1. To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. Lord, let your Holy Spirit guide me always to know what to do at all times. Let me learn to do the right thing at the right time. Let me know the time to work and the time to rest. Let me learn to work with divine time in Jesus' name. Amen. David had a turnaround at a tender age because he was faithful in tending his father's flock. He was not a lazy young boy. His experience on the field and his faith in God made him victorious. 1 Samuel chapter 17, verse 50 So David prevailed over the Philistine with a sling and with a stone, and smote the Philistine and slew him and cut off his head therewith. And when the Philistines saw that their champion was dead, they fled. I decree that my diligence will make me prevail over my enemies in Jesus' name. I won't miss my breakthrough due to procrastination in Jesus' name. 
I pray that you grant all my requests in Jesus' name. Amen.